Okay, so I just finished with talking to Kate, and I feel so bad for her because she's being so harassed with this video. I know I just cleaned my room too since they trashed the place. So, with that being said, I'm definitely gonna go and meet Chloe since she just texted me, asked me where I am. I gotta get out of here. This school is so annoying me. Oh! Oh, let me check on these two, see how they're doing. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. Whatever they're watching must be hot stuff. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max, did you check out Kate's hot video yet? No, oh, come on, bro. That's so not cool. I didn't get wasted on camera and get busy with the Vortex Club. Kate's not like that and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Ooh! Now I feel like an ass. Good, I'm glad. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. Okay. What did you do about Victoria pulling that crap? Nothing yet. My mind works in devious ways, too. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. Yeah, you better not, fucking rude ass. Let me check to see if she's what. Oh, she's not. What's happening, Dana? Everything cool between you and Juliet? Oh, yeah. Thanks again for releasing me from her captivity. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. Oh, That's shit. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Damn. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So... Are you coming to the party or not? And no, I'm good. No, sorry. It's just not my thing. You came to Blackwell to discover yourself, not hide in your dorm. I won't discover myself avoiding projectile vomit from bro dudes. Thanks anyway. Yeah, I'm not really into stuff like that. Hmm. That's it? <clears throat> That's all you Speaking have to say? Of Halloween, look at all this makeup. At least Dana knows how to use it. That's cool. Anyways, let me just... Ooh, what's this? Rollerblades! Oh, I wanted to be a derby girl, but I almost broke my feet just putting them on. Wow, you're really that clumsy. That's funny. This is both sad and pathetic. Oh, she threw out the, the little note. That's funny. Good for you, Dana. Uh, anyways, let me go... Hmm... Should I really confront Victoria? You know what? I'm feeling really, really, really uh, feisty today, so let me confront Victoria's bitch ass self. Fine, no? I won't disturb you. Pussy ass. Fine, you I lucky. Won't you. you lucky you didn't open the door because I would have talked so much shit to you, Victoria. Piece of shit. There's Brooke. Looking smarter than everybody. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. You look distracted. Everything cool? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. Yeah, I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? No, not at all. He's my friend, not my mother. True. And Warren really loves to talk meteorology with me, since I'm one of the few who can talk back. Talk to you later, Max. Damn, Max, you didn't need to go all out like that. I mean, she just asked you a question. Anyways. Samuel truly is a weirdo. But he is great at cleaning up. Alright, let's head on to get some food. Yeah. So peaceful, so quiet, 
And, uh, what's this? Oh, birdie! The birds are flocking around Samuel. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Okay, but what about Samuel, though? Ah, there's Samuel, up early, already communing with the critters. Hey, Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do young love you Max? Morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. Why do you talk like I that? I can feel the animals waking up with me. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. And the squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Tigers and bears and lions. Oh my. Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there, except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. Why are you so talking in third in person? The the morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Okay, that's cool, Samuel. He has the type of voice that he could, like, use to read an audiobook. Who's that, Taylor? I don't think I've actually seen Taylor alone without Team Victoria. Hi, Taylor. Why would you even talk to me after the shit you pulled yesterday with Victoria? I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk. For once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. You're a fucking asshole. Why do you hang out with Victoria? Yeah, she treats you she's like a piece of shit. To you and Courtney. Yeah. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. You call that being a best friend? I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends, too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. Oh. Or whatever. Oh. We've had our talk. Okay. That's cool. So her mom is sick, probably with a very cancerous disease. This is Nathan's father. This is a message to let you know that attempts to slander and blackmail my son will be met with many lawyers and legal ramifications. You're not the first student at Blackwell to try this. I hope you're the last. Consider this a final polite... <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Next. They are so mad about what I did that they're harassing Max, me. Like, suck my dick, you little bitch. Like, dead ass. Warren is out and about already, too. Looks like he's waiting for somebody. Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Damn, Waiting look at his face. For a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping in. Yeah, man. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. You're a bro oh, for yes, that, bro. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, mm. she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? Cause I snitch on his stupid ass. I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. Is he You're really? You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old-school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. Yeah, yeah, I need to hang out with my friends, honestly. All right, let's go take the bus.
Okay, so another montage or something? Like, where am I going? David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Or the gun. I hope so, because Nathan Prescott, oh my goodness, bro, listen. He would not survive in my high school, because kids would have been bullied him for being a little prick. So I'm taking a school bus to, what, downtown Arcadia or something? Okay, so since I've turned off the music in this game because I don't want any copyrights or copy claims, I'll just go ahead and add in my own little music to it. So what's the type of montage passing by music I can do? Give me a moment. Dun 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 boom 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 dun 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 boom 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 what a what a what a what a boom 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 why is that bus struggling with that turn? That's pretty concerning. Anyways, boom boom dun dun boom 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 dun 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 wiggle 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 boom 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 boom. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed my little montage music. I felt like that music really fit in with the emotions, the raw emotions of this game. Gas is 407. Are they dealing with some fucking oil shortage as well? Like 427. Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. What the hell? I wouldn't dream of it. What the hell is going on? You're a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. I bet he's seen a lot of changes to Arcadia Bay in his life. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. Okay, big boy, like, calm down. How's this? Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Well, guess what? I'm reading them. Restore the lifeblood of Arcadia Bay. Save our bay and the man-made drought in the bay. I don't think he put in enough bay words in this. He looks like a photo of the classic Arcadia Bay crusty fisherman. And look at you talking shit. Good morning. So rude. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Uh-huh. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. I'm mad he said Seems that. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. Neptune's beard. I'm so fucking done. You did pretty good to have lasted this long. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. Ew, fuck this family. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. That's an ugly ass name. They own my school. Crooks gain respect when they put their names on schools and libraries. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Uh, running late. Grab a booth at the diner. Mom will feed you. Somebody better. I'll be lucky if you made it by noon. You mean to tell me you've been harassing me to get to the diner early on time? And yet you have the, the audacity to go and run late? Come on, bro. 
All right, Man, so grab the a smell boo. of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware. Good lord. Talk about apocalyptic. Welcome to Pan Estates. Prescott Development invites you to live within the woods. Avoidable luxury homes, forest, ocean, and lighthouse views. Coming soon to change the way you live. And I bet the mortgage is like 5000 a month just because... All right, so let me grab a booth. And um, there's no way for me to sit. Oh, okay, cool. I'm gonna sit all the way in the corner, away from everyone. And that's Chloe's mom, Joyce. The one that was snooping in her and bedroom. there she is, lovely young woman. Hey. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Oh. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. Mm. I know. Oh. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man, he just... Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married him, but... Don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell my karma you did the right thing you moved forward with your life i did after william passed on chloe chloe chose to stay angry yeah i anyway, know i hope we see more of you chloe needs an old friend again joyce i am so sorry about william i have great memories of him i'm glad max that was his gift to us wonderful memories even if chloe doesn't understand yet Aw, Joyce is so humble. I love that. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running damn, away, damn, drugs, bad damn. boys, tattoos, piercing, what? blue hair. Oof, the whole list. Now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why. I mean, why? What did Chloe tell you? Well, Chloe texted me that David slapped her yesterday. He feels awful, and he will be punished. Mm, but Chloe Mama Bear. does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. That's no excuse to hit a girl. He's an adult. I don't like it either, Max. David swore it would never happen again. He's true to his word. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess, I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Bacon omelet, Bajan waffle. No, nah, I'm gonna go with the bacon omelet. I was let's dreaming go. about your bacon omelet. Now finish your coffee. Wait a minute, she drinks coffee? Oh my god, she's such a hipster. I swear to god. With me, I'm not really into well, coffee. For the young lady, uh, it actually relaxes me too much. Dogs. I prefer water or some iced I tea. Love nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. First of all, the prices are cheap in here. What are you talking about? Homestyled eggs and bacon for five fifty. Over here, it's like close to ten, twelve bucks. Like I would eat here all day, every day. This is cheap as hell. Oh yes, black coffee. You will be mine. Can I get some beer and bacon? This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. That's right, Joyce. You tell him. You tell him. Okay, let me see. What am I gonna do? 
Can I get up or not? Order ready. I gotta admit, though, this is a pretty decent no diner. Beer. What, what kind of dive is this? It's not a dive. It's literally a family restaurant. Like, Incoming. calm your titties. The lighthouse bro. looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. I can hear your stomach but then it wouldn't be here. a moment. Here, you'll love this. Thank I'm you. I'm like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ugh. Speak of the devil. Glory. Mom and Max together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat to you for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody needs to rescue me. Unless you set your room on fire smoking out. Oh, God, here it comes. Didn't you and Sergeant Pepper already read me the riot act last night? Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. Damn. Oh, no. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town. What is this shit on the jukebox? I would be so mad if I only got one slice that of bacon, that's out too. Of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pocket. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. I wish I had x-ray okay, vision, but... Impress me. Um... Uh... Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. I don't know. Uh... <laughs> A uh, skull keychain for a punk like you. That was so wrong, Max. Okay, Ooh. psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. All right, good. Let me take a look here, and then I'll rewind, and then I'll tell you. A that teddy bear. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Okay, well, guess what? Watch this. Let me, let me take okay, a look here. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. So it's a bear. Some cigarettes, which she needs to stop smoking, but whatever. My crush smokes when she gets super stressed, so... Kind of reminds me of her. Uh, damn, do I need to figure out how many... Hold on. Two, four, six pennies, three quarters, one nickel. And a ticket, of course. And it's parked in a restricted area. Okay. All right, I'm gonna try this. You ready? Damn. If I don't pass this, I'm gonna have to unwind constantly, and that's gonna be so annoying. Okay. Damn, I have to unwind all the way? Okay. Well, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Alright, so parking ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. But, what is the exact time I was busted? Fuck! 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! Well, Even I guess. the clock is right twice a day. Whatever the hell that means. Okay. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? How do I know? Okay, 13. 13 cigarettes. I smoke too much to have 13 cigarettes. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pocket. Shit! Hold on. That was beyond epic fail. Damn it. I don't want to believe you. Shut up. 
All right, I guess I'm gonna have to do this over and over again. What the hell? How many cigarettes? Okay, Max. Study every item carefully. Two, and four, don't six, anything. eight. No, wait. Sorry. Let me look again. Okay, Max. Study One, every two, item three, carefully and don't four, forget five, anything. six, seven. You okay, got seven set. cigarettes. Now rewind and blow Chloe's mind. <laughs> I like that. Now rewind and blow Chloe's mind. Come on. This is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Siete. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Your parking ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? 10.34 a.m. 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Whatever the hell that means. Your car keys. Duh! Way too easy! I need details! Describe my keychain. You have a bear... a, a panda keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Your money. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? Oh, lord! Okay, so, hold on. I knew she was gonna ask me that. Okay, let me get out my calculator. Okay, so I remember that she had about three quarters. So that's 75. Plus the five cents. Plus... Okay, 86 cents. 86 cents. That's right, living yes. large in Arcadia Bay. Yes! I got it. I got it! Finally, after what, two tries? What's wrong? Amaze balls. I literally just got chills all over my neck. Okay. What do you think? You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Aww. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way! Now, okay. pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. So I have to watch. Oops. Uh, Did you falls. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. See, I like Joyce. She knows how to control the situation. All right, let me unwind. That should be enough. Wait, I can't say anything? Come on. All right, speak. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Mm-hmm. So Joyce drops her plate and the truckers make fun of her. Oh no! So Sorry. What happens next? Shit. Uh... The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and he quickly exits the diner. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Just in Why am I no? Oh, yes, what the I hell? Need to tell me one more event, Max. Can I undo this, please? Because none of that is happening. Sorry. Anyways. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Alright, so let me see. Trucker drops his mug. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. Yep. So what happens next? Then... Cop... The cop yep. gets an emergency alert on his radio, and he quickly exits the diner. Well, let's just see how this goes down. And then... Boom. 
Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. Yes, you still need to tell me one more event, Max. Ah, one more? Oh my god, this is so... This is a lot of work. Oops. Dude, Did you, you right. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a I think dick. not, Max. me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. Okay, I'm definitely gonna have to redo this one, so... Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you guys next week.